my name is Brian. I am from the United States of America. And I moved to Thailand about a year and four months. And I absolutely love it. Um, I was working in the high tech uh, field for, gosh, probably 30 years and uh, suffering because of it, unfortunately. You know, the t type of job like that, even management, it comes with a lot of. Uh, unnecessary stress. The one thing that I've noticed is that every time that I come to Thailand I always was able to recharge my batteries. I always liked the feeling and I decided I want to make that permanent. So we packed everything up in a 40-foot shipping container and shipped all of it over to Thailand and here we are. So my family and I have been coming to Thailand for the last 21, 22 years. Uh, that's about the time that I met my wife, and so we've, we've been married 20, 21 years. Uh, we have three kids, and they're, everybody's here. Uh, we even took our cats. We even brought our dog here. Uh, unfortunately, she passed away uh, late uh, last year, um, but our cats are still doing strong. We're actually going to get a new puppy soon. The house at the very end of our neighborhood uh, had some uh, baby chihuahuas. So uh, I hope we didn't get the yappy yappy chihuahua, but uh, we've had a couple chihuahuas in the past and they were all very good dogs. Uh, we had to leave one of our dogs behind. Uh, that guy, he was, he was older and uh, so he stayed with my mom and unfortunately he also passed away last year. So. We lost the doggy family, uh, but we're going to build build that back up. And uh, again, it's not a super guard dog where, you know, they'll, they'll rip somebody's leg off. But, you know, if somebody does uh, come by the house unannounced, uh, I, you know, I think the little dog will let their presence be known to us. So for those of you who have subscribed, I really, really appreciate it. Um, I started posting some videos that, that you're able to check out. Uh, most of them are me uh, driving around the, the neighborhood, uh, which is mainly just uh, the, the farmland that surrounds our home. Uh, I, I really appreciate it driving around here, um, watching the farmers do their thing, uh, because harvesting rice and cultivating and all that stuff is not not really an easy thing, especially when it comes around to harvest time. It's very backbreaking work. Um, you know, they do have machines that are able to, you know, make the job a little bit easier, but, uh, you know, there's some manual labor that goes into it as well. I plan on driving my motorbike over to different uh, temples and sites that are in, in my neighborhood here. Uh, I guess the initial thing was just to get used to the motorbike and drive around, you know, in, in the, the, the hood, the neighborhood. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of things to see, a lot of things to do. And so, again, for those of you who are not able to travel or want to travel, um, this is a great way for you to see Thailand. So this is my motorbike or motorcycle. It's the Yamaha PG-1. Uh, you've seen me ride it in some of the other videos. I have just got done retrofitting it with some various accessories. None of them are really uh, required, but I threw on a yellow painted skid plate, uh, some crash bars that are on the side of the engine. Um, I have the front rack uh, above the uh, the main headlight uh, in the back I have another rack there holding on that that box and the box itself I've got so I can actually uh, throw my large oversized helmet inside it so when I was younger my brother and I would actually make fun of my dad stating that he had a very large head and it turns out I have a very large head too. 
So most of what I tried at the shop, they were, they started me out with mediums and progressed to large. And then I found a 2XL. The inside of it was shaped kind of funny. It was more for like a, a round head, but I squeezed it on. Uh, eventually I ended up getting one that is more for a long oval head that fits me much better. I think it's just an XL. But nevertheless, uh, this, this guy here has got a big head. So thanks, Dad. <laughs> Love ya. <laughs> so the, the motorbike is not a speed demon of a vehicle. Um, I don't really need something like that because I do have a family and I kind of want to come home every day after a trip. So there is one little problem. I, after adding the crash bars, to the motorbike. Uh, I, I did a little test run uh, yesterday and discovered that as I was changing gears, the there was chain slap. And it, you know, not owning a motorbike, uh, this is my first one. I was like, what the heck is that noise? And when I stopped it, I noticed there was so much play. Uh, in in the chain so I think with one of the modifications I think the, the engine might have shifted and that kind of freed up a lot more slack so I need to fix that so I'm gonna have to take care of that first before I derail the chain and just totally jack up the motorbike um, the Sun is going down as you can see behind me uh, I don't want to wait too late in the day because when it really starts to get dusk, that's when my good friends, uh, the mosquitoes, come out to play. And I'm not really looking forward to getting bit. Um, I don't like to use any of those nasty chemicals um, on my, my body, like a DEET or anything like that. I remember like the second trip that I had when I came to Thailand, I had some very high percentage of DEET and I would spray that all over my body, my legs, my face, you know, any, any piece of skin that was exposed would get a dousing of DEET. And I guess it was probably the second day that I was back and, and I checked the, they had like a little clear plastic cap that would go over the spray nozzle. And some of the, the chemical had gotten onto that cap and it had completely melted the cap. And that's when I said, if it can melt plastic, I don't want to put this on my skin. So that was it. I stopped. So I just, I tried to get smarter with uh, how I, uh, you know, behaved around mosquitoes. You've got those tennis rackets that are electrified and those are kind of fun, but the battery only lasts like five seconds. So that went away. But having been here for a year uh, has actually been a, a really good thing for me because uh, I've kind of learned that the cycles of the beast, the mosquito beast, right? So um, in the early uh, hours of the morning, um, that's when they'll, they'll be out. Obviously nighttime is also very dangerous and uh, dusk. Dusk is really like the starting point of when they come out to play. I, I want to avoid them because my body doesn't really react well to the mosquitoes. <laughs> um, I end up getting these nice little welts uh, all over my body. Uh, there was a point where I had been uh, subjected to them at our other home in Pitchet, the Pitchet province. And I thought, oh, hey, I'm, I'm starting to get immune to these things. You know, the, the, the welts aren't as bad and they're not bruising, yay. And then I stopped it over at a neighbor's house and it turns out, oh, there's the sun, hey, that's better. I stopped at a neighbor's house, we had a little pond and uh, those suckers got me nice and all the big welts came back and I, I knew right away like okay you're, you're not Superman. I will say I got really lucky where I moved. Um, so we live close to, and I'm probably going to butcher the name, Norrinson University. So it's a really big 
uh, University here in uh, Pitsunolok province, actually just on the outskirts of Pitsunolok, the city. And the nice thing about living in sort of like a, a university town suburb area is that a lot of the neighbors are, uh, you know, educated, uh, you know, they're, they're teachers. You know, I could talk high tech with them, uh, you know, where, you know, back in other places, I, I can't do that because they have, they have no idea, you know, programming and, and such. They don't, they don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so we, we talked about something else. But uh, it's really nice. Uh, but, you know, a few of the people that have stopped, uh, like our neighbor right across the street, uh, a few of the, the people uh, are, are doctors. So it's like doctor this, doctor that. I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. So I hope one day you will be able to come to Thailand to experience this. I will go into more detail in a subsequent video uh, regarding my channel name, uh, The Great Life Reset. Um, I've got a lot of notes that I've taken over this last year about how coming to Thailand and experiencing everything that uh, Thailand has to offer, you know, what, what it has done to me, what it has done to my mind, my heart, my soul. Um, I really enjoyed the place. And this, this is home. This is my home now. If you haven't done any traveling, I would highly recommend that you you know, just travel to the next county over or a different province, uh, travel to a different state, uh, just do any travel, uh, go to a park, you know, experience something that you've never seen before, talk with people, uh, meet new people, uh, just enjoy life because life is too short and we need to enjoy every moment of it. You know, this, this light that you see behind me, it's only going to exist one time. And this, this video here is going to immortalize that light. And so you, you need to enjoy every single moment uh, before your light expires. I want to thank all of you for subscribing and for the new viewers, I appreciate you. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.